Hello everyone. Today I am going to implement this moving up the ledge part in this Zelda like climbing system. So as you can see here, when the character moves up, it, it jumps up the ledge at the top. So that's what I am going to work on today. And this episode is sponsored by this generous patron. Thank you very much for the support. Right, so in this Zelda climbing system we have, uh, now at the moment, the character can grab on any surface, move up, move down, but still, uh, character can't move up on a ledge like this. So that's the next part. Right. Mm -hmm. Let me open the character blueprint. Right. So here, mm -hmm. let me again re enable this line traces so that I can see what's happening. Right, so here I can't move because I oh yet I had enabled the other move on wall line trace as well. Book duration. Yeah. Right, now let's wait until these are gone away. If I press up, this is what happens. So in the head level, I don't get a hit. So that should be the reason. Well, that is the reason why I am the one who wrote the code. Right, so I think if I don't get a hit at the head level, the next head level the uh, character wants to move, that means this red line in the top. So we should check, for example, let me eject from the character. So character is still, sh we need to check before trying to move here. We need to check if there is anything blocking the character. So that means there shouldn't be anything else. Um, like this so if there is something like that the character is not able to move here so to check it how do we check it maybe we need to do another capsule trace starting as the bottom point as the head location okay so right in the move on wall uh, this should only happen if we are trying to move up so where do we check after the capsule trace here we do mid and head trace So we get this uh, false should be executed if there is no head block. Nothing is blocking the head level. So let's name this as no head block. Right. So if this happens here, yeah, no head block. Let's define another function another custom event <coughs> move up ledge but before trying to move up the ledge we need to make sure that nothing is blocking the character as I explained before so for that we have to get the starting location 
the target location of the character so how do we get it in here right we have the head hit mm. to the head hit uh, to the head start location we can add the half height of the capsule so that it should be the location of the character if the character move into that level up the ledge uh, right so let's add another output here for the head location which i get as the result of these two operations let's name this head okay uh, now here I'll add an input a vector let's call it target location right now here in the move on wall if there is no head block let's call let me get some space let's call move up ledge and as the oh this is not the new parameter target location let's get the head and to this let's add capsule half height right now here we have to do another capsule trace channel start lean location is the target location and the half height is the fuel half height of the character radius is let's just stick with 30 I'm not sure what's the radius so 42 right mm, and here as then location we can get actor forward vector multiply it with the value like 30 or 50 I'm not sure let's see and to the target location This should be the end and I'll set the debug type to duration I'll turn off other debug types to I'll set them to none because nothing would be clear otherwise Let's check, let's check if the right it is working okay so if nothing is blocking the character should be able to move up the ledge but how to do that Yeah, you can have a branch to make sure nothing blocks. If yes, this would be the end location of the character. Right, so if nothing is blocking, that means we can move up the ledge. So, and I have already implemented this uh, 
jump down custom event that sets the character back to falling state so that character can start walking again so if i call jump down here and manually move the character component to this end location here so i have to move the capsule uh, target relative rotation is the same rotation the character have at the moment so get the rotation here if i move the character the character should end up on top of the wall let's see uh ah uh, no that distance is not enough right so i think instead of 30 let's try 60. right that works okay that works wait why it can't now Sometimes it works, sometimes not. What could be the reason? Maybe... We are ending up in the right at the edge. That's the reason. That could be the reason. So... Here... instead of just adding the half height what if we add something more that means the half height is 42 sorry 96 let's write 110 and see okay I think that works better. Yes. Okay. Let's test some more. Let's move left and right a little bit and test. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, so that's it i'm gonna stop this episode right here right so thanks for watching so as always project files will be available for the download through patreon page link could be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye